Campbell. All right, big boy. Um, listen, do you have anything else to say about Talentless Not? I feel like we left it all I've, on the map. Yeah, I think we put it all out there, dude. It's <sighs> it's a very good show. Yeah, man, it's it's decent. It's legit. We'll uh, see how it I finishes will say, up. But let we'll me see. let me talk about one scene in right, particular. Bring it. This we're gonna get. We might get extra spoilery now because we are this officially in the ramble. This isn't a big thing. It's like a little joke that they right. they run through there. Okay. Whenever he learns the term F boy. <laughs> I mean, that's definitely fuckboy, right? It's fuckboy. Yeah. Yeah. She calls him a fuckboy, and he doesn't know what a fuckboy is. He she, tells her. He says, I'll try not to be such an F-boy next time. Yeah. <laughs> Don't be such a fuckboy, bro. I freaking love it, dude. This show Pretty does good. have some good humor in it, too. Can't wait for somebody to drop head ass on him. That's going to be great. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty It's pretty fun. It's really fun. It's got fun little references. Um yeah, it's decent. I like I like it a lot so far. We will see how it all pans out, obviously. Uh, who knows? We might get to that last episode of the season and it just shits the whole bed. It, uh, I don't yeah, know. maybe. I don't know. I don't foresee that. But I don't foresee it, but hey, it, you never know. It definitely doesn't have the references of the season. That definitely goes to no, Jujutsu Kaisen. No, that's Jujutsu Kaisen. <laughs> Jujutsu Kaisen is constantly dropping just fun little like pop culture shit on you, and it, yeah, dude. it's great. It's very good. It's, so, it's nonstop, dude. But Roger, yeah, we're not talking. We're not talking about Jujutsu Kaisen. Yeah, we can't talk about that this one this week. week. We're, we're gonna, gonna talk, talk about, about it next time. time. And uh, you know what we can talk about right now is Roger. There's a question that burns within my very soul, and I, I must know the answer to within it. Within your loins? Oh, deep down in my tender loins, mm -hmm. Roger. What have you been watching? Well, Talentless Nana and Jujutsu Kaisen are off the table pretty much now. Hell yeah. Um, <laughs> I have I have my third one, which is uh, Higurashi when they cry. That's what I've managed to keep up with. I'm doing my I'm doing my best to truck along. Um, this week, hopefully, I'm gonna make some more ground. I'm current on everything now, so hopefully, I can pass in and, and get some more stuff Hell watched. Yeah. Um, but I will talk a minute about when they cry because it is so damn good dude mm. these three shows that i'm watching are all really damn good it's hard to tell which one i like more all right um and and you know usually a season i have a clear favorite mm -hmm. and the only clear favorite i have from this entire season is the fact that jujutsu uh jujutsu kaisen's closer is the best song of the entire season it's very good <laughs> it's very very but good. more on that next week yeah um it's it's so good and if you watched the original, I know you didn't, but yeah, uh, and I still don't think you have to. He means I didn't. Yeah. Y'all at home, y'all might have. Yeah, you might have. I, I meant Brandon. Um, it is. I don't know what cat's watching there, but it sounds like it sounds like fun. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it pays so much respect, you know. Like it's not like often you'll see things get a season or mm -hmm. something way later in time, right? Or a spinoff or a movie or True. something like that. And it doesn't quite respect the original material. At least that's a complaint that a lot of people have about, you know, remakes and reboots. Yeah. yeah. This one respects it so much. It's it's got all of the the hard hitting, those knifey moments. Oof. It's got uh I will say the Funimation for whatever reason, uh there is a scene where there is a death or whatever, and they censor the core of the death. But blood is flying everywhere. There is viscera flying all over the walls, but the the area where the uh, the death is occurring, it, it involves a knife. Okay. They have they drew a black circle over that part of the body. Huh. It was very strange, and I don't know why they did it. All right, got to get that Blu-ray. Yeah. <laughs> I I don't know why they did that because. It really don't matter. Yeah, it you seems just, like you just censored like the deeper red. <laughs> yeah, it seems like you're getting all the actual blood, and then they just you know what? Just if, have one little spot. Huh? If we get to that that scene and there is intestines and stuff hanging out, okay, okay then, now I get and it. then maybe we'll see. But I imagine it, it, it's not like that. Sure, because uh, because spoilers. But, um, <laughs> we're into the second arc now. Mm -hmm. The first arc is over. And currently we're into the fourth episode of the second arc. Or maybe third episode. We're headed to the fourth episode. Uh, that'll be next week's episode. And um, it once again starts almost a play-by-play -play of how this starts in the original or whatever. Nice. And it does it does the little thing, you know, right at the beginning of... You've seen this part where Kiichi remembers... he. You can see him remembering the past. You know, one of the things that's happened. Mm-hmm. Um, he has that flashback 
So he has a flashback in this one, and it goes immediately into what would be the secondary arc for it would be the answer to the to the question. So arc. you actually see like the resolution more or less. Yes, to that scene? it starts out with where he needs to go for the resolution originally, but it all flies off the rails. Ooh. Um, and damn, it is getting freaking good. I would even say that the way they can build in this one now, uh, with the, it just, the tension builds so well, even with the, the small romance and stuff that's going on in, in this one, Mm. you can feel the tension. Okay. Um, you can feel you, you, it builds it up too, in a way that you don't exactly know. Like, I don't know who's going to snap now. I don't know who, I don't know how the kill is going to go down. And actually, one of the characters brings something up, which spoilers, I can't say. But in the last episode, you get a good moment of this character breaking in and being like, well, uh, and it's, oh my God, dude. I. So it sounds like it's, it's taken those like these big pivotal moments, like, you know, this shit's about to go down, yeah. but now it's less about like. How, what's going to go down and how is it and who's going to do it? Yeah, yeah, it's it's totally now it's all in the air again. Damn. That was part of the that was what was great, you know, was resolving everything, finding those answer arcs so they could get to an ultimate resolution and you know, nothing is in the air anymore. They figured it all out. Now it's rethrown everything back out. That sounds like, really fun. Even, yeah, I don't even know if it's going to be like I said, I don't know if it's going to be the same characters snapping and killing anymore. Mm. Um, as a matter of fact, minor spoiler, I've already seen that that's not going to be the case in at least one arc, the, okay. the first arc. It switched it around, and it was shocking as hell. Hell because yeah. Because they bait you real good with it. All right. They give you that master bait. Jesus. And I took it. <laughs> and I I loved it. Every second of it. All three seconds. Right, you can't just do that. <laughs> it's a ramble, dude. We you can't can do, just say, you can't just we, say that. We can do whatever we want in the ramble. All right, <laughs> we we can say we can say the f word if we want to. Can't. Oh no. Fart. Oh. Do you have any idea how many baby angels you just killed with yeah, that? Yeah, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> what about the c word? Oh no. He's thinking. Wait. Hang on. Oh, make it a good one, Roger. Cunt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck you. What about the K word? Oh no! Also, cunt. <laughs> what? You're a bad person. You're a bad person. Uh, right. But yeah, when they cry, I've really been enjoying it. Now that's the only other one that I've kept up with so far this season. All right. And this week, I really did put you know like some nights together to where okay, okay I've got to sit down and I've got to watch anime. And me and Kat would watch a show for a little bit, and then immediately I was like, "Hey, are you gonna play some games? Do I need to go in the other room because I have to watch anime?" And thankfully, you know, gotta catch up. Yeah. Uh, it, it hasn't been an issue. It's never an issue. I shouldn't put it like that. But um, well, yeah, well, uh, I've been able to really enjoy and get into it. There is one other thing that I would like to say. It's not something I've been watching. All right, bring it. But I did inspire a couple of good buddies to watch something. Oh no! From a couple seasons ago. Oh no! Uh, my good buddy Corey does a let's play with me on oh, the no. channel, and his brother uh, Dylan, Silent Dill, mm-hmm. he does the Silent Hill stuff with us. I got both of them to watch Sarah's on my nice. What do you think? Uh, Dylan hasn't finished it yet. Okay. But Corey started it and he was going to stop at episode three and then he just watched the rest of it. He <laughs> loved it. That show's rad, man. Yeah, it's so good. I, I like they, he was looking for something to watch. So I was pitching it to him in our group chat. And then Dylan's like, I want to watch that too. That sounds weird as fuck, dude. Yeah. That, that was what I said. It's like, if you want to go for, if you want to go for something straight out of left field, something a little weirder, something that's gonna hit something legitimately strange yeah like you can watch that mha if you want to you can go watch mob psycho highly recommend it it's great but if you want something real weird <laughs> let me if, tell you if you want something you're gonna say damn that is anime <laughs> you need that to shit's, watch sarah that shit's anime Sarazama. as fuck yeah I was like, I'll be honest with you guys. Me and Brandon gave it a perfect score. It's great. We loved it. We freaking loved it. And and yeah, Corey watched it. He burned through it in one one sitting, pretty much. Hell yeah. Uh, he loved it. It's good shit. Yep. Sarah's on my good shit. You heard it here, kids. Yep. Uh, hell yeah, dude. You got anything else to talk about? No, or? that's all I got, dude. All right. Well, let me hit y'all with a little bit of what I've been watching. Yeah. I'm not gonna talk about. Can you? Can everything. you? Are you gonna? Are you gonna talk about your tree too? Like your mountain? Like where they fall oh. and. 
Yes, the okay. So there has been a little bit of movement on Good Buddy Brown's Mount, Mount Vibe check from the beginning of this season. I will say right now, everything that I called snoozing at the lodge and everything that was in the glacial chasm fully dropped. Uh, most of the stuff in Cliffhanger has been dropped. That includes By the Grace of the Gods, I'm Standing on a Million Lives, Adachi and Shimamura, Moriarty the Patriot. I haven't watched any more of yet, but I still might go back to that one. I heard it gets a little bit better. Um, there's actually something. Uh, oh, the uh, there's one, the Maisetsu opening act thing that was in the straight up trash bin. Uh, that's the one with the girls who are doing comedy. I was like, man, this shit's real not funny. I read a thing that was like, it gets better. So maybe, I mean, I, I only watched the first episode, so I, I, maybe I'll give that one a proper rule of three. We'll find out. But otherwise, I will say right now, uh, I did watch No Blessing and Awakening. Didn't do it for me. It can, it can stay on down yeah, there. Yeah, I'm still on episode three there. So. All right. All right. But it, it can stay on down there for me. I wasn't big into it. Uh, I will say right now. Our Last Crusade or The Rise of a New World. I'll go ahead and move that one up to doing just fine. It's doing just fine. Uh, and Akadama Drive I had in Cliffhanger. That one's also doing just fine. I think I was a little bit hard on that when I told you is because mostly because I felt like it was real flashy, but kind of it felt a little, I don't know, shallow to me. Yeah, samesy. It's got a lot more depth to it after like mm -hmm. the next few episodes. Uh, I think I'm currently on episode like five, four or five of that one. It's pretty decent. Uh, there was a character that I was not super into, uh, who is the doctor. If y'all have seen the show, maybe y'all can guess why, because you know, I don't love, uh, there's two things about me that I don't love. I don't love, uh, fan service. It's fine. And I don't love when characters, uh, are, appear to have a mental illness that makes them, uh, you know, dangerous or something. I don't think she has a men I don't think she's actually, cra I called her boobs McPsycho originally which is not great but i feel like she's not actually crazy i feel like she's just a sociopath who likes to kill people and you know she's what just to kill a baby she's the joker and that's fine um but she's a doctor and she has fun little quips with uh the courier guy so akadama drive can definitely move up a level um i'm still watching that one i'm still into it it's pretty fun uh we'll see how it shakes out i will say it's fucking beautiful like the direction and everything is really great. There are a few times when like, it's one of those where like, I'm not just noticing how good the animation stuff is. I'm also noticing things they're doing to make it, to like cover up where they have to kind of, so like the courier guy, he has his cool ass motorcycle and there are moments when they have to do like CG with that one. And the CG, it's not amazing, but the way that they managed to cover that up by having it just like flying past so fast or doing like certain angles so that you don't notice the CG, it's really impressive, the direction. I, there's like little bits like that that I'm really noticing. I'm like, damn, that's actually, I saw that and it was very good. So there you go. Akadama drives rad. Move it up a level. Uh, other than that, Hypnosis Mike, I'm still watching that one. Tanakawa, Over the Moon for You, or Fly Me to the Moon, whatever it's called. Still watching that one. Fly me to the moon. That was way off. That was all. Close enough, dude. All right. Uh, Dragon Quest: The Adventure of Die. Still watching that one. Uh, Kuma 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 Bear dropped it. It's kind of boring. It's fine. <clears throat> uh, the day I became a god. We'll get back to that one in a second. Yashahime, Princess Half Demon. I have not watched any more of it yet. I really want to, but also there's just so much other stuff to watch that. There's a lot, dude. There's a lot. It's daunting. Um. The big, the other big movement is Gymnastic Samurai, which I, which is on tippity top that I previously called my favorite thing this season. I'm gonna go ahead and move that one down to doing just fine. It's still very good. I'm still enjoying the show, but I'm kind of confused as to where it's going. Uh, it's still a lot of fun though. But also, and they also introduced a character that like, basically, uh, the ninja dude gets a job working as a waiter in this restaurant, and a character. I'm not a hundred percent sure how to feel about this character. Um, his, it appears to be a bald man with a goatee who's wearing very heavy eyeshadow and makeup. And his, his, I'm going to say there, cause I don't feel comfortable saying he or she, um, because this person might be portraying themselves as androgynous. Um, their name is Ashley. And the first thing you see them do is, when the waiter comes over, the ninja waiter comes over, is he is they reach up and grab their leg. And then it's like, okay, that's not cool. And he's like, oh, I see you have nice legs. Um, 
blah 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 it turns out the, the this person is like a like acupuncturist slash masseuse um which again doesn't make that cool to just grab people but then they end up helping out the actual gymnast guy by giving him like uh, acupuncture and training him in tai chi to help him like get his muscles right so it's like okay feels kind of weird I don't know. It's one of those that like kind of makes me feel weird because one of the people who works on this show, and this is another thing that drew me to it, um, specifically worked on Zombieland Saga, specifically did a lot of work on the Lily episode. So I'm like, oh, this person seems to know what's up. And then you get some weird stuff like this, and I'm like, eh. So I don't know. It's kind of it's kind of squeaking me. But the show's fine. I still like it. It's still fun-ish. So we'll find out where it's going. But I would not say I would not say it's my favorite show this season any longer. You know what is my favorite show um or one of my other favorite shows sleepy princess demon castle still hilarious watch sleepy princess demon castle jujutsu kaisen still up there talentless nana still up there uh one that i would move to the tippity top is actually and we can talk about this one the day i became a god is so weird and random that i absolutely love it it's the one where the dude meets a little girl who says she's Odin and she tells him the world's going to end. Yeah. We still got that that counter still clicking down. But these episodes are so weird. I said before the other characters besides her didn't really click with me. They are absolutely firing in all cylinders now. The dude's hilarious. The girl he's he likes is uh, really fun, although a bit deadpan. His family you meet is really fun. There's a whole thing where his sister, it's like episode two or three, she's like doing she needs to do like a video project for her school because she's trying to she's trying to become like a director or something basically with they have the guy and the girl he's crushing on without telling her what's happening she's recording them doing these scenes and it's literally just him like wearing a like wearing a spacesuit and like there's something's happening a giant meteor the size of texas is about to hit the earth and destroy everyone she's like what are you talking about why are you wearing that I have to go on the spaceship with NASA. We're working together. We got a team of oil riggers. We're gonna go and blow, uh, blow it up and blow it up and save the world. I don't. What are you even talking about? And then his dad comes up wearing a suit. He's like, "It's time to go. Just one more moment. I want you to know that I really care about you, and I can't wait to come back." Does your dad? Does he even work? What is he doing here? All right, I'll see you later. And then he like just walks around the corner. They shoot off a little like. Uh, sparkler thing so it looks like a log rocket launched and then he comes back around and goes I'm, okay, I'm back we made it home and she's like what is happening it makes no fucking sense it's the weirdest shit ever and I love it and then they do Rocky <laughs> it's amazing <Huh. laughs> like, they did Armageddon then they do Rocky there's a whole episode where like he she the girl who's the god gets gets a game on his computer Signs in is him and is playing Mahjong. And I don't know the rules of Mahjong. That's okay, because neither does this freaking kid. She ends up qualifying him for the, fin the national finals of the Mahjong Super Tournament. He's up there playing Mahjong with three other people who actually know what's happening. And the whole thing of Mahjong, apparently you got to get certain pieces to make sets of them. It's like yeah. kind of like poker. You make a pair, you make it's two pairs. got like little tiles and stuff. Right, you make you make certain things like you get Old four of these. Old play it when they drink mimosas. Yeah. You get four of these, you get five of these. You, you know. You know what's yeah. up. I've seen you. Uh, you get like two pair, you get four of kind of, you get all these ones in a row, whatever, that kind of stuff. Okay. So this dude doesn't know the rules and he just starts making stuff up and it works. So like, there's like a Northwest East South thing. And normally that doesn't do anything, but he's like full compass. And just like, that's not a real set you just made. And the judge is like, I love it. This is amazing. And she lets it go. <laughs> and it's the thing about it is they do it so seriously. He's like literally like, and like sweat's coming off him. He's Yugi Moto throwing down the card. He's fucking Light Yagami taking a bite of that chip. That's how serious the animation is. It's bonkers how serious they take it. I love this show. <laughs> and again, I don't really know 100% where it's going, but I'm on for the ride. This is my new favorite right now. Hey, maybe next week it won't be. We'll find out. Lastly, I want to talk about one more that Man, I got real close to dropping this one. Wandering with Jelena is a lot is a decent show. I really like those first two episodes. And then episode three was such a bummer. I'm just gonna tell you what happens in episode three because I don't okay. think anyone should ever watch episode three. You can probably skip four too. Episode so the whole thing, she you knows she's a wandering witch. It's like travel law. She's gonna fly around and tell these little stories and stuff. All right. 
episode three has two different stories that happen. The first one, she's in a big field. She comes across a big field of flowers, and there's a girl there, and she's like, "Oh, I just love being here with the flowers." She's like, "Well, that's nice. That's fun that you love the flowers so much." Yeah, why don't you take some flowers with you? Okay, I'll take some flowers. She takes some flowers. She flies off. She finds this village. She's going into this big city. It's big walls. Big, ca- big, you know, huge town. She goes in. She starts going in. The guard stops her. Hey, you can't come in here with those flowers. What are you talking about? The flowers. He's like got this weird mask on, you know. You gotta wear your mask. Mm-hmm. Uh, and he's like, "Yo, you gotta give me those." And he's like, "Where, where'd you get this from?" And he's like looking at the shawl that they're wrapped up in. The girl like gave her her like cover it, her shawl or whatever to wrap them up in. And this other guy comes by. He's like, "Hey, I'll handle it." Listen, man, you can't come in with those flowers. You gotta dispose of them. And there's like these basically these flowers got some crazy magic on them. It doesn't do anything to witches like you yourself, ma'am. But like normal people gets them all crazy and they lose their mind and they just go into the field with the flowers blah 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 it's like oh that sucks and then the dude was like real into the child he's like but what if she's out there it's like no forget it man and then she's like so the witch girl she's like huh that's pretty wild she gives over the flowers he burns the flowers there you go she then goes back to the field later finds the dude there who is now gone crazy in the flower field and he found the girl it was his girl he was trying to find she is apparently turned into a giant flower and there, he's like, yeah, it's so great here. Isn't she beautiful? And he's like clearly lost his mind. These flowers have fucked with him. He's about to turn into a flower too or something. It's these evil flowers and they like make you die and you turn into mulch and shit. And then she's like, well, that sucks. And she flies away. And then you see people, more people who have apparently been drawn by the flowers walking with big bundles of flowers to that town. Story's over. Hope you didn't think I was going to do anything about it. I know I'm a cool witch with super cool powers, and I could have, you know, burned down this whole field of flowers and saved everybody or done any number of things, maybe even cured that lady of her weird flower disease. <laughs> what? Yeah, that sounds like, it sounds like, so there's this anime called Mushishi. Sure. Uh, I don't know if you've ever heard of it. Or, I or have not. I can't say I have. Uh, this sounds very similar to, to that. Um, however, uh, the main character tries to actively find solutions to help. Yeah. It'd be uh, nice if if someone and, and Mushishi is a beautiful show. Yeah. At least the very first season, I recommend anybody to watch it. I look it's it up. So good. The music is beautiful. The animation is beautiful. Mm-hmm. It's uh, it's like one of those mid two thousand classics. Like it's it's very good. Sounds pretty. It rad. sounds it sounds a lot like that except, uh, God, I can't remember his name. is like Jin or something. Um, he actively looks for solutions to. It's these little creatures that kind of, they're not really evil or anything like that, but they have effects that could be adverse on humanity or whatever. Mm. So he's trying to figure out some of them not so bad. But. Can you imagine having a show with a protagonist who actually wanted to help people? Wow, yeah. that'd be crazy, right? <laughs> so anyway, that's that's the first segment. The second segment I won't spend as much time on, but basically she finds this dude who's got this magic bottle that he's catching happiness in. Okay. Okay. And he invites her back to his place. He's like, I'm getting this for somebody. She can't leave the house or nothing. Gets there. It's this girl who works for his, his dad's like the mayor, basically. And he's like kind of the mayor. So he's like the prince of town, I guess. And there's this girl who's there who works for him and blah, blah, blah. And you find out that he was uh, getting this stuff for her because she can't really leave the house. Why can't she leave the house? Kinko well, you, is his name, by the way. Sorry, I had to look it up. You got it, dude. Uh, you find out, oh, she's a slave. The mayor bought her when he was in a far, when he was in a faraway land. That's a slave who lives here. She's clearly not comfortable. She's very jittery. She drops a freaking bottle of water, some uh, uh, a pitcher of water, and it breaks. And the dude freaks out, and he's about to beat her ass. And then the witch is like, "Hang on, whoop!" And she just fixes it. Did a little good. And then the dude, the dude like, uh, that's pretty much it. And then she's like, "Well, I guess I'll go now." And then the dude like gives her the jar of happiness or whatever. And she sees all these beautiful scenes of people. Uh, you know, running through fields and having good times and a daughter uh, or a woman with her with her little daughter playing on the swing and a young couple who uh, are kissing, having their first kiss. It's beautiful. Oh, that's so nice. And then she's like, oh, my God. And she just starts crying. And then Elena, as she's flying away. She remembers a story about a dude who did that for his wife. He was a painter. He would paint all these beautiful scenes because she was sick and couldn't leave the house. It's very similar to the story. You know what happened to that lady? She saw all these paintings and she was so depressed she killed herself. Wow, hope that doesn't happen. Bye! That's the episode? She didn't even... It sounds like there's a statement or something in here to be made. Dog? But No, it's just, it's just, hey. Beagle's having a good time. Yeah, he is. Beagle didn't care for that story. It's, it's literally like, 
then the next episodes is just like other shit like episode four is kind of like that but she got there after the horrible shit happened so it's not as bad and then five and six are fucking great episodes five and six are actually pretty good i think i'm i don't know if i'm gonna watch more of this show honestly because if it gets all weird like that again like i don't know it was just weird it was just a weird little episode where here's a story about how i have the capacity to help people but won't bye what the fuck <laughs> I, I read a thing uh where Pico's having a real good time. Yeah, this I read time a thing it's not where, fake. I read people. I read a thing other times. Or totally where, real. Yes, we're not being attacked by anyone this time. Ha ha! I got you. I am a banshee though. But um, I read a thing where like other people, like it was another uh, uh, it was like a group of reviewers who were talking about it, and they were going through like their mid-season checkup. This show, that show, this show, that show. They got to uh, Wandering Witch later. They're like. Damn, is this like the fastest we all gave up on something? Yeah. All right, next show. <laughs> like, it's a bummer, dog. Episodes three, episode three sucked. Episode four was meh. Episode six is baller. So I don't know. Maybe I'll watch another one or t- two, but I don't have high hopes for Wandering Witch Elena. Not as high as I did at the beginning of this season. But yeah, that's about it. Uh, check out The Day I Became a God, because that show seems like it's going to be good. Again, might shit the bed later, but right now I love it. Yeah. Um, otherwise, yeah, I think the top four for me right now are Day Became a God, Jujutsu Kaisen, uh, Sleep Princess in the Sleepy Cat, Sleepy Princess in the Demon Castle. That show's freaking great. She is just a straight up goblin and she is crazy. It's great. And, um, Talentless? the other one said Talentless Nana. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there's so many shows this season. It really is. It really is, dude. How's your, so many. How's your day been going, man? Uh, Sleepy. Long. It was a very Sleepy long day, day today. Yeah. <sighs> Another long day at the office, you know. An yeah, F man. of the day at the O, you know. <laughs> Hell yeah. God, I told you, man. Like, how about you, dude? We joked about it with the people calling about the PlayStation. <laughs> I, man, <clears throat> I don't know. I'm probably gonna get fired. It's just I'm just gonna cuss somebody out. It's just wild to me that you know, like. I hear people coming and talk. I don't have to deal with the same experience as you do, but you know, like I've heard plenty of people talking. I see anywhere I look online, people are, are talking about how hard it is to get these. Like, damn, it's like you never tried to buy a console before, dog. Yeah, uh, on release, it is always like this. Can you believe it? Can yeah. you imagine having Every a console day one? Single time, it's always like this. And in a pandemic, come on, yeah, yeah. It's ridiculous, but like, it's one thing when like, it's, it doesn't bother me that people are constantly calling asking for the thing. It's another when they're just mean about it. Like I told you, man, I had one lady who straight up like berated me for a good three minutes because I told her we don't ha- we don't have any. We didn't have any. And I told her, you know, we had like a couple of orders and if they get canceled or whatever, because if they don't come and pick them up by you know, the end of the day, then maybe we'll have those available to sell tomorrow. And you know what happened? We had two. They were available to sell this morning, the day after the thing launched. And there was two people out front. There was actually like several people out front. And they walked out before we opened and said, hey, we got two. And the two people up front were like, yay. And everybody else went, aw, because that's how it works. So... This freaking lady, like, it wasn't good enough that I told her maybe we'll have, we might have some available tomorrow. Uh, she's like, well, I called earlier and they told me this, and I called before that and they told me something different. If I call in 30 minutes, I'm gonna get something else. So it's ridiculous, blah, 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 and this and that and blah. And she goes on for like two minutes just getting mad at me. I can't control the shit. And I was like, I told her straight up, man. Have you tried crying about it? That might help. And then I hung up. And you know what? I might get fired. <laughs> I wonder if she called back. My sincerest hope is that whoever that was, they have some amount of clout. Like, they're either a little bit famous or, like, a politician or something, and I get in trouble, and then I can be like, I apologize not for the act of telling you to cry, but how my act of telling you to cry made you feel. Where's my apology? (laughs) I wonder if they called Uh, back or tried to report anything. Or maybe they're just like... I am never shopping with Target again. That's fine with me. We got enough people coming in there. I can tell you all about them. (laughs) But honestly, man, it's like, if that did happen, no one told me about it. And if someone does want to tell me about it, I don't, I don't care, man. I'm a third party vendor. Honestly, it would, it would, you would be doing me a great service by firing me and putting me out of my damn misery. (laughs) You don't know how, you don't, you don't know these 51 hour work weeks. I'm not sure that they could. I feel so bad complaining about, like, 
the overtime. Because, you know, we are in a pandemic. There's people that don't have a damn job right now. Sure. But I'm fucking tired. I'll give y'all a job. Come work for me, goddammit. I'm tired of working by myself every damn day. <sighs> anyway. I don't know. I feel like I'm complaining <laughs> about shit too nah, much. Nah, dude. I'm just, it's I'm just annoying. tired. I'm sad. I sure do like them aminés, though. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so would you really want your power to be brush self brushing teeth? For no, real, I could for probably real? think of something better. You'd probably think of something better. That was off the top of my head. Like, yeah, that's a good power right now. It's a good one to have right now. I would love to hear. I mean, you already said it, but please leave a comment if, if you, you could tell be us about if you your, could be the total cleaner. Okay, where if you, you could be the real Kenny Omega. Yeah. <laughs> where yes, you could you could get them teeth brushed. You could get that whole body wash just by thinking it. If you could just go like, foop, and you're just suddenly fresh as a yeah. daisy, that'd and be pretty also, sweet. Also, you can, uh, like, if you if you inhale, and like, if you huff in some, like, uh, you don't have to snort it or anything, but just get the scent of, like, certain body washes or toothpaste. And now you just you got can, it? Yeah, you can add that to you. You can you can select your flavor or if scent, you if were you were the Febreze <laughs> Quadra yeah. plug-in, if you were the real, if you were the superhero Glade plug-in man... My God, if Jujutsu Kaisen didn't make a fucking Febreze reference. Yeah. <laughs> Jujutsu Kaisen has really good re- The scene where he was like, he's like, we're going to teach you how to use your uh, curse power. And he's like, wait, 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 I won't be able to do it. Wait Not- until you see the movie. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's like, but I wanted to do like a Kamehameha or something. Yeah, a spirit gun. <laughs> or Dodo Ray. Or Dodo Ray. He's so sad. Yeah, he his little ghosty him. body. Uh, yeah, just, his it's, little legs. He's just kicking barely legs. muttering. Dog. <laughs> We're just making noises now, but everyone should watch Jujutsu Kaisen. It's very good. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. Yeah, it's pretty rad. That's the that's the big show in this this season. You know, if they would set this up and then have, like, just have 24 or, like, 12 episodes per season, you know, uh, for a full 24, mm-hmm. sort of how Demon Slayer got a full 24. Sure. If they would set this up to where it was, you know, covered two seasons and then Demon Slayer, Slayer covered the next two seasons, uh, I could I could live with that, dude. That'd be pretty sweet. Do we know how many I uh, could live seasons with this that. is going to be? Uh, I don't know how many episodes it's going to be. I, let me see if One they... One core, two core. Let me see if they they announced it. Yeah, you um, look that up. I'm just gonna fill some dead air. How y'all doing out there? Talking <laughs> about M&A. Y'all see these uh, Pokemon cards? Mhm. Mhm. I like Pokemon cards. Got got my boy Roger set of Pokemon cards. We're gonna play it. Pokemon on the channel. You yeah. might check that out. Keep an eye out. Rapid Kick Media on YouTube. Twenty four episodes is how many it's getting. Hey. Sounds good. Yeah, I'm in, dude. I'm freaking in for it. Yeah, man. There's a there's. There's a lot of stuff this season, but a, a, a whole lot of it is good. Some of it is straight up garbage. Please see two episodes ago. Yeah, but, but that's of it's to be very expected. Good. Yeah. You know? Gotta take the good with the bad, ain't that what they say? Yeah, man. Well, I feel like we've done enough uh, stretching this episode out. You ready to yeah, bust ready on to out go, of here, big boy? I'm a sleepy boy. Yeah, I want to go home. Sleepy boy. Gonna go home, pour me up a bowl of cereal, and uh, watch me an episode or two of Dragon Quest hmm. on Verve. All right. So from all of us here at the Good Buddies Universe, uh, of course, we want to, you know, it, 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 we we love to hear from y'all. We love telling y'all about cool stuff and we love hearing from y'all. And there's a number of ways you can talk to us. If you want to send us an email, we got uh, the good buddies anime pod at gmail.com. Yeah. We got the good old Twitter, mm-hmm. TGB underscore anime pod. I haven't checked that in a while. Oh, wow. We got. Uh, <laughs> Have you? <laughs> Uh, not really, no. <laughs> we got the uh, Facebook group, The Good Buddies Universe on Facebook. We got the Dead and Zombified Tumblr, thegoodbuddies.tumblr.com. And of course, the easiest way to hit us up, go ahead and leave us a comment on the YouTube channel where you may or may not be listening to this. That's Rapid Kick Media on YouTube. Like, comment, subscribe, smash that like button. And uh, click that bell so we can send you some notifications. We love hearing from you. We love interacting. And of course, don't forget to check out the uh discord link in the description below on the youtube uh hit us up we'd love to hear from you of course once again i will say if you want to actually talk to me or roger good idea to tag us because we're pretty much constantly working and we ain't going to see it otherwise yeah yeah um, but yeah i'll, I'll have the i have the link for that discord i have been trying to get on it and talk yeah so um 
I, I did make. I did go. Uh, I saw you. I saw face. you drop a drop a picture of your domestic girlfriend special yeah, edition my into dope the is collectible into the dope collectibles section. Too bad it got stolen by that guy who killed us both. Yeah, well, I came back for him, and yeah. I got my I got my my special edition back. You did get it back. It's on the table, and I back see, where it belongs. I see the plastic was taken off of it, so he probably had a little fun with them straight up nudie cards in there. You know, uh, I, I let Corey look at those too. <laughs> And just letting all my friends check out the cards. If you, if you good buddies want to come over and check out these domestic girlfriend cards, let me know. <laughs> the special edition, it comes with just straight If up, you would like me to slap like, one up on Discord, like, don't let me do know. That. Now that's just, you can't be horny on main. I didn't. You gotta, you gotta make a special 18 plus only. There, there are a couple of tasteful ones in there. <laughs> I don't know, man. It's a lot of straight up. Nudie. All right, well, it's you like know these what? mini postcards that are straight up. I tell you what, just hit me up on the Twitter. You know, I'll hit him, hit him up on. He'll DM it to you if you confirm that if you, you are at least you 18 come years over, or older. Though, if you want to hang out, if you want 18 or older only. We're not but, getting sued. If you want to play some Smash Bros, this is this is getting out the GameCube. It's getting more and more. Uh, you know, creepy man. <laughs> I got, I got a wave bird. <laughs> I got a mad cat. That's what he calls his dick. <laughs> this is mm. the worst. This is the worst outro we've ever done. Um, but yes, there's a number of ways to hit us up. We talked about them all. You also uh, may be checking out our podcast. If you're not, you can find our podcast uh, po- in podcast form pretty much anywhere you do. And you get the uh, the show and the ramble all in one instead of two separate videos. So that's pretty fun. Check us out on Podbean, Apple Podcasts, uh, Google Podcasts, I use Podcast Hopefully Static. Hopefully soon Spotify. Stitcher. I really, really need to get that done. Got to work on that. Got to yeah. get us on the spoofy. But uh, yeah, hit us up, check us out, whip it out, do the thing. Hell yeah. Heck yes. All right. Heck yes. We got to give a shout out to our friends who provide us with our delightful musics and musings you may be hearing. Do we know where the background music comes from? Uh, give me credit for that. We, it's a, it, The credit is always in the... It's in the description. It's okay. in the description. It's I believe the person's name is, or the, the person that created it or whatever did the 8-bit remixes is Falcon. Hell yeah. It might be Falc 1. Just check the, just try, check check the, the description. description. Shout it's, out to, it's down there in every episode. Shout out to whoever makes that uh, rad, rad-ass rad 8-bit music we got going on in the background. Uh, couldn't do it without you. Holler. Uh, but of course, we want to give a shout out to our good buddies, Mary with Sea Monsters, a.k.a. the Mary Janes, for our opening theme song. Uh, mm-hmm. That is Paper mm-hmm. Doll. R.I.P. that band. But their stuff is still on Spotify, and that song, as well as so many other hot fire tracks, is only available on marriedwithseamonsters.bandcamp.com. So check it out. It's good stuff. We also want to give a shout out to our good buddy Haas, uh, that's Thomas Taste Better on Instagram, uh, and Dungeon Witch on YouTube for the use of our closing theme on the review quote unquote portion of the show, which is uh, The Buddy's Good. Again, that's Haas, his name is Thomas Taste Better, all one word, on Instagram, or Dungeon Witch mm-hmm. on YouTube. Yeah. And of course, a shout out to our good buddy, A Petty Theft. Going, going a little hard there. Going a little hard there. I go hard in the paint, dude. <laughs> Sounded like you were going hard on somebody's knob right then. I don't know. Going what hard is. in the paint, dude. Yeah. All right. Uh, yes, that is how it's pronounced. Two P's at the beginning, two T's at the end. Papetti Theft. Uh, you can find Papetti Theft on uh, SoundCloud and on Twitter at Papetti Theft. Uh, we want to thank Papetti Theft for our closing theme, which we are still calling Sweet Anime Dreams. Shout out to papetti theft and i think that about does it do you like how many times i said it yeah he's over here giggling at me i'm, I'm laughing about going hard in the pink dude i, I didn't i didn't much care for that <laughs> so fucking stupid guys every now and then you got to go a little bit hard in the pink it's very very important to stupid i'm tired man just gotta let him know you know what i'm saying you gotta let him know sometimes you gotta go hard in the pink <laughs> Listen, we've had a, f- a lot of fun here tonight, but you know, it's time. <laughs> Y'all, we're both tired and Yeah, and I'm I got to stop thinking of jokes to keep going off of because Brandon gotta, really ain't going to like them. You got to let it go, man. Tell me tell me later. Um, but yes, thank you so much for checking us out. Uh, I think that about does it. Roger, you got one to take us out on? Is it going to be really <laughs> disturbing? No, man. I, I, I will...
you know, I'll just take us. I'll just take us. Yeah, I got one. Take us out. Take I'll us out. I'll just take us out simple. I'll just you dust off a classic. All right, man. Well, from all of us here at the Good Buddies Universe, I am your good buddy, Brandon. I am your good buddy, Roger. Go hard in the pink. Jesus Christ. You're a bad guy. <laughs>